Well, that's a pretty cool box. Inside here is the new core timepieces, Fury GMT. This is using the uh, new Seiko NH34A uh, automatic GMT movement. Let's check it out. <laughs> wow. Let me get this stuff unwrapped. That's a smoking hot orange. Oh, look at the bezel too. It's kind of a bronzish, a bronzish orange. Look at that when you see the light hit it. It's got that anodized look, but it matches up with that dial really well. Wow, that's sweet. And so immediately another one of these watches that um, is using titanium because I can tell from the weight, uh, but you can't. You know, this kind of looks stainless steel, doesn't it? Nice brushing there on the mid case. A little chunky. Yeah, I gotta. Ooh, I said I gotta get this bezel aligned first because it was bugging me. <laughs> but that gave me a chance to uh, play around with the bezel. Now look at that. That's some nice knurling. Pops out from the side of the case there. You see just a touch. Uh, and then this is sitting up on top enough to where you can grab it from the uh, 12 and 6 position pretty easily as well. Great resistance and it is bi-directional as it should be that's a 90 click bezel and uh, it doesn't say on the website but it looks to me as if it is aluminum uh, and those uh, markings are embossed and uh, loomed as well I'll get you that loom shot here in a while this is supposed to be a flamethrower we'll find <laughs> it should be a flamethrower right it's right there on the dial so yeah we'll find out in a bit on that but we'll go in tighter on the dial now and see this beautiful work. Look at that uh, 3D image of the flames uh, on the dial. And I like how the uh, logo is at the uh, 9 o'clock marker rather than, you know, centered uh, above the pinion on the dial. That's a nice little touch, you know, uh, just kind of throwing off the, well, actually, I was going to say throwing off the, sym the uh, symmetry, but it actually ties in with the, uh, the date window a little better, right? Uh, then you still got your print down below. Um, centering things up with Fury, GMT, and 30 ATM. Uh, look at these uh, indices appear to be applied. And obviously we'll have a loom plot in the middle. And uh, it looks to be um, high polish stainless steel uh, around its perimeter. So a nice black handset to give you that contrast uh, against the dial. And you see that flame is textured as well. And then you've got your 24-hour markings on the Riot serving as the chapter ring. Just in these shots, I'm seeing a little bit of kind of tool work or markings um, on the bezel. You catch that? It uh, looks like maybe from where it was embossed or something. Uh, this is a reviewer's watch, so it's gone out ahead of me. Uh, so there'll be some nicks and scratches and that kind of thing here and there. But that doesn't appear to be from use to me. I'm not positive, though, because obviously I uh, didn't unpackage this as brand new. And we've got a single dome sapphire crystal and uh, so great distortions from the uh, side profile there. That's a screw down crown. It looks like it's sterile, no signature, and a, a screw down case back as well. Again, with that uh, 300 meters water resistance. Uh, other than having a uh, dive style uh, bezel, you could call this a diver's GMT, 300 meters. That's great. It's got a nice uh, satin look to it. This is a kind of a matte finish. Uh, all over. The bezel is a little more, this uh, studio light is bright here, it's a little more gunmetal gray compared to like this stainless steel look of the uh, case and you see a radial brushing just on those little tips of the uh, top of the case that you can that you can make out there. So, and again this is grade 5 titanium, uh, you know pretty cool that uh, they're offering um, NH34A uh, GMT automatic movement with titanium grade five case, uh, pretty cool. And the two-tone titanium bracelet as well uh, with quick release. And so one of the cool things about this watch is obviously what I just mentioned, the complication of a GMT. Uh, this is a um, office or collar GMT. It's the new NH34A from Seiko. Uh, built off the uh, widely popular NH35 uh, platform. So it's got 21,600 vibrations per hour, 24 joules, about a 41 hour power reserve. Features hand winding and hacking, and it's got an accuracy rating of minus 20 to plus 40 seconds per day. Uh, so on this crown, uh, this is a screw down, screw down crown. So um, when you unclick, you'll have the winding uh, position as usual. And then first click out uh, clockwise, will be your GMT hand. You see that will go in one hour increments since this is a office GMT. And then counterclockwise will be your date. 
So this is an office GMT. Uh, what does that mean? Well, that's basically a GMT more designed for those that don't travel as much, but you want to track other time zones. Uh, you know, example, you'd have a colleague in another, another time zone. Uh, there's your office GMT uh, moniker, right? Uh, and you can track three time zones with this. So the idea is that you would uh, use the uh, main handset for your time, your local time. Use the GMT hand for a second time zone. And then you can use the 24-hour uh, bezel uh, to be a third time zone. So that just gives you an idea if it's a decent hour to uh, call somebody or, uh, you know, a quick glance at your watch, right? Okay, let's measure up. I've got measurements from the manufacturer, but let's double check them here uh, with the calipers. I've got 42.1 millimeters diameter, lug to lug of 50.8 millimeters, 22 millimeter lug width, 15.3 millimeter thickness. Yeah, we knew that was a chunky one. And it weighs 173 grams with what I think is uh, all the links on the supplied bracelet. 86 grams, uh, just the watch head alone. Yeah, Loom looks great. So I'm filming in the daytime, the rare occasion. Uh, so I'll throw in a, a darker uh, Loom shot for you as well. But uh, looks good. So this, um, they claim it's Loomy Bright, but... Um, you know, I that's a proprietary uh, luminescence, so I'm if I had to guess, uh, and you can't see it as well here, but again, when I throw in that, there you go, the date wheel is loomed. So I, if I had to guess, I'm going to say that the date wheel is loomy bright, and um, the rest of the loom is maybe um, luminova. But that's just me taking a, taking a whim guess at it. Uh, it's listed as Lumi Bright uh, on their website. It uh, does seem to be well color matched, though, so maybe it is. Uh, and it's blue in color. That looks great. Everything is Loom that you need. I mean, you can see, uh, and I love the uh, the logo Loom, too. That looks sweet. Uh, but you got your GMT hand, your main handset. Uh, you just don't have the second hand. That's the only thing that's not Loom. You've got a Loom date wheel, which is absolute great touch i mean you know not a lot of manufacturers do that it's like it's one of those things like well if i want to see everything in the dark and then i want to see the date too because i've got the complication so brilliant touch i love that they added that uh, and then all the uh, loom markings on the bezel are obviously uh, very clear and visible as well Okay, let's check it out on my wrist. Uh, but first, today I'm wearing the Chronologia Canyoneer. This is uh, also a GMT. It's got a Swiss Ronda Quartz GMT, and it uh, is the same uh, type of complication and office GMT. Full video is right up there. Oh, yeah, that feels good. This is a perfect, um, it's not sized for me yet. So, uh, eight inch wrist, 42 millimeter uh, case. Uh, so, you can see I've got a little bit of uh, excess. Uh, in the links, so we'll fit a uh, wrist larger than mine even. Uh, but what I can say is the balance feels really good. Um, so it's, you know, lightweight titanium, but again, I you know, there is some, some kind of heft here in this uh, watch head. Uh, and so that balance between uh, lightness and especially with the bracelet um, and just a little bit more weight in the watch head, um, it just got a good feel to it. I don't even have it sized yet, and I can feel that balance between uh, the bracelet and the watch head to be really well done. Well, let me show you more about this bracelet too since we did actually didn't cover that yet. So it is a uh, milled clasp. Uh, looks to be pressed on this portion here. You've got three micro adjusts and it looks like split pins for sizing. Uh, and this two-tone, I can only assume that that is kind of a um, black PVD, but I don't really know. But pretty cool feel. It's got a nice beefy uh, look to it to uh, match that watch head as well. So they did partner with Barton watch bands to uh, include uh, an OEM strap from Barton uh, in your package. And so in case you wanna see which one it is, uh, it is a Barton Elite Silicone a Black Pumpkin 22 millimeter. But this is included with your purchase. So you've got um, a nice quality, you know, because you know the name brand, Barton, a uh, nice quality uh, strap to go uh, as a replacement for your bracelet. And it's pretty cool that they include both lengths of the bottom side. So if you have a, a larger wrist, you can go with the longer one, smaller wrist with the shorter one. So pretty cool they give you that option as well. Ah, oh, this is great. These are silky smooth, the silicone, and look at this perfect fit. So that's another thing. They had uh, this, uh, you know, uh, strap in mind, I'm sure, when uh, they partnered with them. Because look, I mean, it just butts right up against the case. Uh, these have that, um, see that little bend to them as well, that curve. Uh, so when they sit on your wrist like this, it's got that pop-out look. 
um, and look at here against the case. So it just kind of goes and hides underneath the lugs. Oh, I should show you that too. Let me check this out. So there's that little lip there. So this lip helps that um, the strap tuck in, you know, underneath it. And there's what it looks like on that Barton silicone strap. It's so velvety and slick. I love this. What a great pairing though, right? You can see just a bit of that uh, orange popping through from underneath to uh, match the dial and the bezel. Uh, yet you got that nice um, stealth-like black strap. Uh, two floating keepers uh, on this one as well, uh, and uh, so you could you know take one off. You don't need it. And the, one of the keepers has the nub to lock into uh, the hole on the end of the strap, so keeper will stay in place. Uh, let me show you that flame dial again. This is inspired by hot rods, tattoos, and similar passions uh, from the uh, two owners of uh, Core Timepieces. Uh, but very cool GMT using that new Seiko NH34A. Uh, pretty cool mechanical GMT, office GMT, uh, with this uh, tight, tight, grade five titanium case. Uh, look, look how chunky that is too. You got some nice angular design to it. A bit of that cushion look. Um, very cool. I am digging this release for sure. Uh, so you can pick these up on the Core Timepieces website directly. I'll leave a link down below in the description section. They are $5.99, which is a great value for, as I said, a 42 millimeter chunky titanium grade five case. Nice bezel, uh, you know, you can track three time zones uh, with this GMT. Of course, that nice display box comes with it and the extra Barton silicone strap. So what are your thoughts on the Core Timepieces Fury GMT? Leave me your comments down below. I'd love to read them. And I'll catch you in the next video. I'm Wit with so many watches, so little time and money.